the heart of creativity is a sense of rebellion. It could be rebelling against a number of things. I'm going to talk about this in the context of music. Uh, you know, punk would be, when it comes to lyrically, is often a rebellion against social things, the government, the system in general, a number of things like that. Um, there's a number of other styles that have come up because uh, people were tired of uh, musical mundaneness. Um, but since 2003, we just haven't had anything. There's, there's been no real rebellion, no real creativity as far as I'm concerned. Not in mainstream music anyway. I, I just think mainstream music since around 2003, in which, start, which that pattern started in, in 98, you know, it, it's boring. This shit's boring. And people say, oh, well, mainstream music has always been boring. Really? Are you going to say when uh, grunge first came out in the 90s that you thought that was boring? When Europop or uh, New Wave came out in the 80s, did you think that was boring? Did you think that punk in the 70s was boring? Do you think some of the, the strange styles that I don't really know what to call them that came out between like 68 and 72, do you think those were boring? Um, there, there, were, there have been so many styles that have been created in, through, throughout time but it's like that just stopped in 2003. And we've got these fans of EDM that will, you know, oh, look, trance and, and house and, and look, look, uh, 30 genres of trance. <laughs> you could have, you know, there's this song here. It's still, <laughs> but the chords that play in the background, you know, on this song, this this genre, the chords go dit, 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 dit. Dit, 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 or something like that, right? And, oh, that's trance. And this, and in this trance song, the chords are... Oh, that's a completely different style. Tra that's a completely different type of trance. It's a new genre. Oh, so if I came out with a song that went... Oh, that's ah trance. I mean, that's how stupid this shit is. The tiniest of little differences. Some artist does something different in the studio. Oh, look, it's a, it's a totally new new genre. Oh, give me a fucking break. But that's the level we're at now. Um, now, yes, I know that you can, you can find independent music that's different. I, I, I understand that. I get it. I'm talking about mainstream stuff. Stuff that you might hear on the radio. You know, it's... I mean, I guess considering that uh, all the radio stations are pretty much owned by this tiny, tiny, tiny handful of companies, you know, where there used to actually be a lot more independent radio stations, you know, that has a great amount to do with this too. But even if you just go by top 40... Um, I mean, most music, 99% of music is, is in 4-4, four, 4-4 four, four, four timing. You can count it in 4. Uh, then you've got some, you've got some rare songs that are in 6-8 where it has a tit 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 they can call that 12-8 as well, if you can... Uh, it's, it's, the difference between 6-8 and 12-8 is, is kind of uh, negligible, but, you know, you've got that. You have the really rare uh, waltz, 1-2-3, one, 1-2-3, two, three. One, two, three. You've, you've got that. Um, but most stuff is in 4-4. Four, four. And... If you just go with a different timing, like my last song, the one about Milo, that one's that one's in five eight. Um, it has a very different feel. And the song I made even before that, which was very jazz influenced, um, people were asking, "Well, what genre is that?" I like it; it's catchy, but I, I don't know what genre that is. 
we're, we should be at, we should be having to ask that question more often. Hey, what genre is this? But we don't. It seems people have forgotten how to make new genres, or they've been led to believe somehow that uh, unless you follow one of these these set standards, uh, uh, nobody will want to listen. Nothing can be catchy about it. Um, and it's weird. So there's a huge sense of rebellion that's been lost, and I don't really know why. I don't understand it. I would love to get to the heart of that. Because as I've said before, uh, how someone thinks, who they are, shows in everything that they do. So why have so many people stopped any sense of rebellion? I mean, I guess we could say, well, uh, things have gotten so much better for everyone, and so there's nothing to rebel against. But, I mean, you know, you know as well as I know that that's not true. Um, but, I mean, musically? Musically, there's a lot to rebel against. But people don't seem to be doing it. It's, it's why I... It's one of the big reasons why I was so just destroyed by David Bowie's death. Because he was one of the few people who was just like... He always rebelled against the, the musical standards of the time. Always. That was his thing. That kind of thinking is, is, is almost gone. It's almost done. And it seems strange to me that... It's the older generations that end up being more creative than some of the younger ones. There's something very wrong with that. There's something very wrong with that. What are we doing to youth? What have we been doing to the youth in the past 15 years that's destroyed that rebellious creative sense? What is it? What happened? What changed? It's a curious thing. <laughs> 